Hi, this is Matt Everhart with uh, Team Savage and Savage Fitness, and I'm here today at CrossFit Kaya, that's Kabul International Airport. And with me, I've got Rick Irving. He's the uh, head coach at CrossFit Kaya, and we're going to talk to him a little bit about his box. Okay, uh, I'm Rick Irvin. I'm the head coach here at CrossFit Kaya. I'm from Dell City, Oklahoma. Uh, I've been doing CrossFit for about 10 months now. Now with TRX is doing functional fitness type mm -hmm. motion. Um, really quickly, that wasn't enough for us doing the just body weight stuff. Um, so we started to improvise with the tires, the ammo cans, and things like that, and moved out here. Um, with uh, with the TRX, it's a great foundation uh, to, uh, for anybody to start working with. Uh, but we needed to do a little bit more than just that. And that's why we started looking at CrossFit to try and supplement and and that ended up being our primary program. Awesome. That's great. Uh, it, it fluctuates because uh, it's the ebb and flow of deployment and everything else. Mm -hmm. Right now we're sitting right around 65 to 70 athletes. Um, we run six sessions a day uh, to include an open box during lunch for those that can't make the standard class. Uh, right now I'm put, we're running right around 10-ish coaches. Um, uh, that kind of helped me out as far as making sure all the, all the logistics and everybody's uh, getting checked on and right. no reps. So. That's wonderful. Good, good. Well, I know with uh, what fifth course coming in now, so there's going to yeah. be a whole new group of people to train. Yeah. So, uh, really, as far as it is, you know. For, for military, it's all about PT, combat readiness, making sure the soldiers re uh, soldiers ready to do their job sure. right, whenever they're called upon. Um, that's what's so great about functional fitness stuff. Um, on top of that, uh, if if you're able to do it in a public place to where people can notice it, you know, it, if you're doing it, people are going to stop, check you out, and wondering what the hell's going on. Especially out here when we're throwing plates around. Right. Um, Especially with all the yelling and the music and everything else, that kind of helps lure them in as well. Right. Um, so, uh, really, anybody that's trying to, uh, to start out, just have an idea of what, what you want to do and have an idea of how to step it, how to phase it in. Um, kind of like how you did with your own stuff as far as starting with the boot camp where we started with the TRX. Mm -hmm. um, try and collect things like we went to uh, the logistics yard and we got plenty of tires, searched around for ammo cans, filled them up with rocks. Um, we already have lines, so let's start doing shuttle sprints and tire flips. And, right. You know, and as it grew, so did our program, so did our equipment. Yes. Yeah. About how much? Um, enough to outfit it. That's really the the bottom line. Uh, some more rings, ropes, clamps. Uh, uh, Rogue Katie down there, she's been outstanding for us, helping us out. Um, well, shout out to Rogue Fitness. Absolutely. Yeah, all absolutely. right. They, they've, they've been a big help to me. Um, uh, hopefully they do well at regional. Right. Well. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> They're doing all right so far, I yeah, think. Right? Yeah, Well, I think Katie and her husband are both competitors. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's just a matter of always trying to anticipate the needs of, of what, your, what your athletes are going to need. Um, especially over here, knowing how long it takes to get kid over here. It, by the time it goes through purchasing, that takes two months, and then it takes another two months to get everything shipped over here. So you have to forecast out at least four months out to right. know, okay, I've got, I'm burning through these this many jump ropes. You know, which, that's the biggest thing to put over here is jump ropes. Yeah. So, you know, but really trying to, to see the, see where the growth comes from and trying to anticipate that. That's right. The checking out boxes back home trying to see the different programming you know you always want to compare your box to everybody else right um, and so I was checking out things back home where we're from uh, out of Joint Base Lewis McCord in Tacoma Washington and uh, ran across uh, across this y'all a great uh, group of guys there and uh, they were doing a uh, DT fundraiser. DT was, uh, and his family were all members of CrossFit Piala. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they were just trying to do a fundraiser for uh, DT's son. How much, uh, how much money did you guys raise? Uh, we ended up raising over $3,500 here. $3,500. That's amazing. Awesome. And I understand you're going to 
going to uh, deliver it in person when you get back? Yeah, hopefully uh, Megan and uh, uh, CJ will be able to be there when, we, when we're there um, uh, so, so that we can present it in hand. Uh, all the first four guys that are redeploying, we're all going to make a trip out to Cross 50 all up, meet the widow and the son, and uh, present them with a gift to our so. That's terrific. That really is awesome. So I guess that kind of brings us up to the uh, competition coming up. CrossFit Games are yeah. right around the corner. There. That's Absolutely. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So what? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so uh, 2012 Mission Afghanistan Games is uh, hosted by the State Department at the U.S. Embassy. Um, it's a great program for a uh, great event for all the boxes here in Kabul. We all get together. Um, most most of the Kabul boxes are all down uh, co located close to each other, with the with few exceptions. That's being one and Camp Phoenix being the other. Mm -hmm. So it's really a, a great opportunity for all of us to come together and uh, uh, go play and yeah, do, right. do what we do. Do you guys, have, you guys have an idea how many people you're expecting? Um, I'm expecting to win it all. Uh, <laughs> no, um, uh, right now, uh, 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 Matt, uh, the, uh, Matt and Chris are, uh, are estimating right around 100 competitors. That's so, and we're going to be doing yeah. that in two-man teams. So. That's great. And how many events do you anticipate having? Uh, there's going to be three events. Uh, the first one will start with the uh, ground and shoulders ladder. Um, then we'll move on to the Hindu Kush Lung, Hindu Kush Lung Crusher 2.0, and then the main event. And uh, it ought to be pretty good. Uh, awesome. Pretty good. They, they throw quality events every time. So. Great, great. All those are uh, going to be posted on your website then? Absolutely. And that's CrossFit, K-A-I-A.com? Absolutely. Great. Awesome. The Wreck. The Wreck. Uh, outstanding thing. Uh, very, very proud of this. Uh, it'll be something that's enduring and it'll be here for everybody else after us. Right. Um, basically what we what we started off with is we just wanted uh, a universal type of system that'll be good for just about any exercise we can throw at an athlete. And uh, yeah, so we don't have to run around like idiots anymore. Right. So uh, what, what we have here is uh, 18 squat racks, for lack of a better term, uh, pre-drilled for and tapped for uh, all of our J hooks. Yep. Uh, we have a pull-up bar on by, and this is on both sides, of course. Uh, eight foot t at eight feet, we have a pull-up bar at nine feet to eleven and a half feet. We have wall ball target, uh, hence the sauce. Hence the construction us. we got going on. Yeah. Yep. And that'll finish up the other side as well. So we'll have full-length wall ball target on each side. Um, Gable for. Something that we didn't think about beforehand was the slave when we start tipping. Yeah. Um, so we've got the gables going along. Up top, we've got a center line beam galvanized for our ropes and rings. I uh, got a few more of those coming as well. Uh, top of the rope is right around 16 feet. 16 so, feet. So uh, plenty of room for a swing on the uh, on the rings. A lot better than the old ratchet strap that we were using. Right. So uh, yeah. It, allows us to do just about anything that we want here. So. That's great. Yeah, it really is amazing. Not uh, not entirely sure about the color being a K-State grad, but uh, well, it's definitely okay. Boomer Sooner. So. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely a uh, awesome awesome piece of uh, equipment, especially yeah, especially given the location, given where we're at. Uh, for pull-up bars, we've got uh, we've got beams going in between our blast walls and the fence here. Uh, mm -hmm. Right on the other side, you can kind of see the outline of the. The blast walls, the horizontal uh, support structures that go in between, and that's how we ended up out here. Uh, we started out with uh, TRXs hanging off of the antenna towers that you can see in the background. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, uh, people got sick of seeing 20 people lying all over the ground while we were doing <laughs> atomic push-ups and things. So uh, we moved out here. It was a good location for us. Wide open space. We uh, we could improvise for pull-ups outside and uh, started just collecting things. Ask. 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 Yeah, the money's out there. Uh, Just got to ask it, for it. It huh? absolutely is. Uh, uh, it took me about three minutes to sell our chain of command on that twenty-five thousand dollar budget. I hope so. Yeah. I definitely do. I'm keeping a key. So. Uh, <laughs> so the <laughs> next time you're next time you're in here. town, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna paint 
to have blast balls here soon before I leave as well, and we're going to put all the girls up for our leave. Oh, very nice. Um, yeah, I've been doing it with chalk, but with the rain, you see what happens. Now. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've noticed all my scores got washed off. That's all right, I got them written down. <laughs> I have them written down, and they're on the Facebook page, so yeah. you can always get them there. So, awesome. Yeah, that way whenever anybody asks at 2 o'clock in the morning if I open the box after I come back again, they can ask who I am and I'll point to the wall. <laughs> Easy enough for me. Right on. I'm uh, I'm really impressed with what's going on here, and having uh, been doing the workouts, I'm I'm a big fan of CrossFit Kaya myself. So uh, I'm heading out soon, but I hope to get this video and get you guys a little bit more uh, more publicity, especially as the fifth core comes in and get make everybody aware that what we're doing what we're doing out here in Afghanistan and Kabul. So Rick, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate and uh, yeah, thank you very much for your time, and we'll we'll see you soon.